Hey y'all, what's good beautiful people? It's your girl Tay and I am here yet again obviously with another beauty video. So definitely make sure you guys smash that like button, comment down below, subscribe, plus push your post notification bell button so that way anytime I upload a video you will be notified. So as you guys can see I already have my eyebrows done okay. I know I'm looking a little bit crazy right now but we are going to jump right into it. So I thought that I would just come on here basically and just do a makeup application with you guys. I hope that you can see me. I hope that you can hear me. Um, the first thing we're going to do we're going to do some swatches right now. Um, I am going to be using the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer which is oil free. I'm kind of going for that makeup Makeup, no makeup look today I'm, I'm not exactly sure I'm gonna try to keep it simple with my eyeshadow but again I'm, I'm I'm not sure as of yet but here is what we got as of right now and then we have this one and now one is in the color 5 in 1 walnut and the other one is in 6w1 ganache which is actually the color that I have been wearing um, in their regular foundation for Laura Mercier so um, I did just recently purchase the 5 in because I felt like the 6 uh, 6w which obviously stands for warm was a little bit too dark for me so I am going to do just a little swatch right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me see. I'm going to put a little bit more. And if you guys can see. Okay, so that is the 6W. Now we are going to swatch the 5 in Walnut. Put that one over here. Now, to be perfectly honest, I think that the 5 in Walnut um, is better for my complexion. As you guys can see, I am a little bit darker right here in the center um, and slightly darker on my face. But I want to match this part of my body. So just in case I'm wearing a shirt like today, I can pretty much bring this lighter color all the way up instead of having a really dark face and neck and then a really bright colored body. Okay, so um, let me try and we're going to blend out the 5N right here. Just so you guys can see what it looks like. They both look pretty good, but like I said, I could just be a little extra. So that's what the five in. You can't really see it at all. It's like completely melted into my skin. Now I'm going to blend out the 6W and see what it looks like. Okay. Honestly, you can't you you can't really see. Let me see in my mirror. I can't really see. I feel like I could wear either. So I'm probably going to do a mixture of both just to see how it looks because I already know how the uh, 6W looks. So let's go ahead and just do a mixture of both. First thing I need to do is put on some primer because I 100% forgot. Um, I did already moisturize my face. I did my skincare routine already and I am wearing an SPF moisturizer. Um, I wanted to try this new, uh, was well, new to me, but this new primer today. So this is going to be my first time using it. It's by Tula, which by the way, you guys, this is one of the brands that I use for my skincare. I use Tula pretty much almost everything. Okay. So I do want to use a little bit of this today you guys can see this is what it looks like it's supposed to be like a gel consistency let me read what this does on here uh brighter smoother looking skin okay it says this is a silicone free priming gel it grips makeup like a pro and helps brighten skin without clogging pores supercharged with juicy yuzu plus skin soothing probiotics the formula bursts onto the skin to create an instant cooling and refreshing sensation uh yeah that's pretty much it so we're gonna go in with some of this I'm gonna try to keep this video not too long you guys for obvious reasons but at the same time we're gonna be realistic about this I'm gonna tell you guys it takes me about two hours to do my makeup application and um, I've been looking at other YouTube beauty influencers and they're pretty much saying the same thing that they cut a lot of it out um, for the purposes of the view the the video Okay, so 
takes me a while, which is why I wanted to do my eyebrows already off camera. So that way I could come on and we're pretty much already one and done. All right. Well, I can definitely feel the smoothing, not smoothing, the cooling sensation that it's supposed to provide. I can definitely feel that. <laughs> I do have a Stampo primer here. I can feel that it's a little bit of a tingling sensation, not like a burning or an irritation, but you know, a little bit of a, like it says, a cooling. I did also want to try this oil and shine control. It's a sample that I actually got is by Smashbox. I did want to try this. Like I said, it is a sample just because today is, we've got 95 degree weather outside and I want to have my makeup last if I can get it out of the package so it's not much in here but we're gonna add some of this too especially in areas where I get the most oily I'm pretty much only dry in my t-zone um, and especially now that we're into that colder, drier weather, I'm pretty much, like you can see the skin peeling off of my face, literally, okay? In person, at least. Mainly right here, but right here is where I get dry, down the nose and around my mouth. That's where I get dry. Everywhere else, I am oily. So, let's see here. That feels good so far no no irritation it leaves a nice soft cushiony feel on the skin just in case you guys were wondering um, what I usually use is my Laura Mercier um, blurring primer okay so we are going to go into the what is this this is the tinted moisturizer by Laura Mercier and this is in 6w I don't know if you guys can see that, but we're going to go into the 6W Ganache. I'm going to put a little bit on the back of my hand. Just one little blip of this, just so you guys can see. And I'm going to put this mainly around the perimeter of my face. It, it, it looks a little bit more. This one is not as warm as you would expect it to be, which is why I like this one. I do like a warmer... Um, foundation but at the same time not too too warm all right so now i'm going to start to put on a little bit of that five in walnut you guys can see already the difference in the color because i can see the brighter color but we're going to see how it looks all together she might do just fine I know this looks like a lot, but it's not because it's really, 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 really thin. Um, again, this is a tinted moisturizer. This isn't a full coverage foundation. All right. So I am going to blend this out with my brush. I think I have my brush, hopefully, first. All right. So I'm going to go into my brush. This is the Equal Tools foundation brush. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to start to buff this into my skin like I said we're going for a no makeup makeup look today I wanted to keep it real real light because it's hot today surprisingly so and I honestly haven't been doing nothing but being lazy and laying on the floor in my living room because you guys know I ain't got no AC And I probably will take this off right after the video, honestly, because I don't want to get this on none of my, my bedding. Because I got a palette. Alright. Have y'all started shopping for y'all, um, you know, fall season? Doing anything to change around anything in your household? 
yeah see i don't know if you guys can see it doesn't really offer much coverage for my dark circles and as you can see i have some pretty deep creases here okay so we're gonna have to use a really good um a really good uh concealer for that but i think in terms of i think it looks good i just really wanted to even out my skin okay like i said i don't want to put too much on there the good thing about this is that it also has spf in it that's the good thing so now i am going to conceal and i think i closed up the thing that has the concealer in it all right i am going to go in with this is the shape tape by tarte it's a small one and it is in the shade 53 in deep hopefully you guys can see that focus all right she's not focusing but <laughs> we're gonna go into this and I'm gonna let this sit for a minute. Uh, I'm just gonna put a little bit under here. And I do like to bring my eye up, give myself an instant eye lift. I'll bring it down a little bit here. Just a little bit of that. I'm going to let that dry down, but then I am also going to go into my NARS Creamy Concealer as well. And this is in the shade Caramel. And I'm going to put a little bit of this down the center. Of my nose. And I'm also going to add a little bit here just for an extra bit of highlighting and right here and right there that's it that's all she wants now while that sits and dries down I want to go in and contour my face did I bring my contour Actually, I have this contour stick that I wanted to try, but I don't think that it is dark enough. I think it's okay for my nose, but I don't know how good this is going to be for my um, face. I don't really want to sculpt out my face. I kind of just want to create the shadows. But this is by Persona, and it is in the shade Sahara. It's a stick. It's actually a multi-use stick. Okay, this is what it looks like. I've showed you guys this in another video. Um, I believe I got this as an add-on from BoxyCharm, but we're going to pretty much just, like I said, I don't want to, yeah, see, that's light. Can't see that. Can't see that at all. I do have a bronzer, though. I think I'll probably do that at the end. Hmm. Yeah. I think we're bronze at the end. You know what? Hold on. Let me go and get my uh, contour. All right. So I did go and get my contour, but I do want to start to blend this out only because I was walking around and it is pretty hot in my house. So before this dries up, too much Let's just go ahead and blend this out
All right, you guys. So I sped through that a little bit because <laughs> I didn't want you guys to just be sitting here watching me do that. And it is a process, as you can see. So I did go back in and add a little bit more of my NARS uh, creamy concealer just because I wanted to brighten it up a little bit more. Um, so I'm going into my L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer, and this is what I'm going to be using for my contour. This is in the shade 435 Coffee, and this is what she looks like. I have nails, you guys, so excuse my nails, but this is what she looks like. And I just want to do a little bit, like I said, I don't want to act necessarily sculpt out my face. I just want to create some of those natural shadows, although looking at my face... I mean, I kind of feel like this is just the norm for everybody else. But looking at my face, I don't really have, you know, a whole lot of darkness <laughs> in my face, if that makes any sense. I do, but to me, it's not as noticeable. I could be wrong, though. All right, so I'm going to go into my angled contouring brush. And this is by Sephora. And this is what she looks like. And I'm going to start to just... move that around right here and don't worry if it looks a little muddy i'm definitely going to take care of that keep in mind that this l'oreal infallible is pretty strong as you can see okay because i look like i've been rolling around in mud and i haven't so you only need a little bit i probably could have tapped it off a heck of a lot more than I actually did but it's okay because like I said we are going to fix that right now right now all right now I am going to go back into my um foundation brush i'm not going to put any product on here but i am going to use this to kind of kill the lines of demarcation especially here on my forehead and just kind of make it look like a natural gradient from the dark and then i'm also going to go over this and kill that because it's too much Alright, so now we are going to set under the eye. I am going to go into my banana powder by the cream shop. Okay, this is what she looks like. She's actually got her own little sponge in here. I don't want to use that today. I kind of want to use this new brush actually that I got. Let me tap off some. There we go. Just a little. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can really see. You probably can't really see because of the uh, the light that I have. But it's I have this new brush anyway. <laughs> I have this new brush here. This is by Makeup Revolution. And it has a sponge on one end and then it has a brush on the other. Now the sponge is a bit damp. I'm actually going to spray it a little bit more just to make it a little bit more damp. But I'm going to use the the brush not the brush the sponge part to go in under my eyes my first time using it so we'll see how it does but i had to get it. it's not that expensive either it's not expensive at all actually if you go on their website i believe it was like eight dollars and i got two when i saw the video i just thought that it would fit perfectly and it does under the eye and considering this is where I get really, really oily, and this is where I would normally use a sponge to push in my setting powder, I thought this would be perfect. So as you can see, it's working. Now I'm just going to push this in. I'm not going to bake right now this moment. I really just want to push it in just to set these areas because... As I showed you guys, I do crease pretty bad up under my eyes. Um, and realistically, with makeup, makeup is not going to cover 
all of those creases no matter how many times they tell you that you're still going to be able to see some of it it just helps to cover it up slightly okay so i just want to set everywhere where i put that concealer basically and this is actually in addition to the concealer what provides that extra brightening I think I went a little ham with the with the contouring as you guys can see I know next time I usually don't put that much I don't know why I did that today and then I want to go right here I do want to let it sit on my nose a bit you guys can see that Okay, I like this brush. I'm liking this brush. I don't want to put too much powder, but I'm definitely feeling this dual ended brush. Now we're supposed to be able to just go in the other side and use the brush side to kind of sweep away any leftover powder in those areas. Like I said, I do want to leave that right there on my nose. I think I want to do some reverse contouring just because I did go a little bit ham so I'm going to actually take the sponge that came with it and put it here and let that sit there for a minute actually I was supposed to do that afterwards okay it's okay we're gonna sweep that away because I still have to set the rest of my face so I'm actually going to have to sweep that away while I go in and set the rest of my face. So let's just move that out the way. <laughs> it's okay. I'll go back into that as soon as I'm done with this other powder. All right, now I am going to go into what has, be, what has become my favorite uh, all over setting powder. This is by Black Radiance. Now, in my other video, I did tell you guys that this is actually a black owned brand and it's not. I thought it was, but it's actually not a black owned brand. But this is a really good setting powder. This is the Soft Focus um, Press Powder and it is in the shade Milk Chocolate, okay? She's not new. This is what she looks like, okay? I am going to go into my really nice and big fluffy powder brush. I did actually get this brush from Amazon. I believe it was $10. They've got some pretty good quality brushes, so y'all might wanna check that out. And then I am going to go all over my face, pretty much everywhere else where I didn't set and just set with this brush. I really like this powder because it helps to blur the lines. Okay, now without putting any additional powder on the brush, I'm just going to kind of like go back in and just make sure everywhere else is nice and set. I am going to go back and bake though. And I still have to finish contouring my nose all right so now that we've got that part done and now I'm going to go back into my cream shop banana powder because like I said I do want to do a little bit of reverse contouring on my face because I went ham too much powder it's okay let's just dip into this and we're gonna put this back on my nose oh I love this brush I can never do it like that with a regular brush let me see you know what maybe Putting it there and then I'm wiping it away accidentally. Okay. I do want to just kind of let that sit there 
because I'm getting ready to start the eyeshadow and then I'm going to lay down just a little bit just in case I have any fallout from my eyeshadow so we're gonna put this here and I believe my eyes are set but just in case I'm gonna go over them a tad bit more You're not going to give me my flowers? You're going to give me my flowers on camera. Aww. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Got me feeling all mushy and stuff. Okay. So my eyes are nice and set right now. We're going to let the rest of this kind of sit there and just bake. And while that does its thing, we are going to do our thing. So for eyeshadow today, we are going to be using the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. And this is what she looks like on the outside. She does have a mirror. So I'm going to try to flip that around. And this is the color story. Now, I have actually started to use this. I'm trying to cover it up so you guys can see the colors a little bit more. Um, I have actually started to use this palette. So, she's definitely not nice and new. Um, so, what we are going to do is we are going to go into... You know what? Let's stick with my usual because it's what I'm comfortable with. I am going to dig into my, this is my Equal Tools Dual Ended Brush and the side, it has a smudge and blend. So I'm going to use the blending side of the brush, okay? And I am going into Steel Shot, which is this color right here. It's kind of an orange pastel color, but we are going to use that for our crease color. And I'm going to try to use that to build up some color right here. I'm not exactly sure what I want to do. I did kind of look at this palette prior to today. But um, this color isn't exactly showing up as much as I want it to. So I think what I am going to do, I'm going to go into Baja right here. This darker burnt orange, it kind of almost matches the colors in my shirt and my head wrap. So we are going to use Baja as our crease color instead because I think she's going to show up a little bit more. I don't want to put any more concealer on um, my eyes. Had I put a little bit more on my eyes, it probably would be, that other color probably would have showed up just a tad bit more, but it's okay. This one is working just the way I want it to, so it is fine, okay? Just going to build up this corner, this corner, this color in our crease right here, like I said. Now I'm going to wipe off my brush on a dry towel here, and then I am going to blend this out get it nice and diffused and then do the same thing on the other eye okay I've got that cutter, cu cutter, color pretty much where I want it to be. Now I'm actually going to go into 
I was going to go into the same brush, but just for the purposes of this video, because I really don't like switching between a million freaking brushes. It absolutely drives me crazy. That brush actually is better for what I need it for. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see if I have another. Okay, we're going to go into this brush. This is by e.l.f., and this is the Blending Eye brush. So this is what she looks like. Okay, and we're going to use that to put a darker color. I think I'm going to go into Punk which is this color right here. So we're gonna go into punk and I'm gonna start to stamp that in the corner. I'm learning so I'm gonna go back into that first brush that I had and I'm going to go back into Baja which is the orange color and I'm going to start to put that back around the perimeter which is also going to help to diffuse the color punk Finally, I am going to use the other side of that brush that I use. This is the side that I use for the orange color, and this side is a smudge. I want to go into, I don't want to use black. I'm going to go back into that first color that I tried to use for my crease color, which is Steel Shot, and I'm going to stamp that on the lid. Not really seeing much of anything. So I'm just trying to keep this all matte. Mm, but it's not really looking the way I want it to. Realistically, this is the process, you guys. Um, I don't know if it's like this for everybody, but for the most part, for me, this is the process. I'm gonna try a different matte color. I'm gonna go to this color right next to Baja, which is Hell Ride. And we're gonna see if we can get that color to show up. So I'm gonna use the same smudger brush because I already wiped it off on my towel and put that on the lid. Yeah, I'm getting a bit much more of a color payoff. Now keep in mind, I, I don't think that this has anything to do with the eyeshadow itself. It could just be the fact that I did not put more of a concentrated amount of concealer on my eye. Or actually, no, I think I did. You know what, we'll just try this again with this palette on another day and see. We'll just try this on another day. I'm just really trying to build up this purple colors, kind of meshing in with the, um, with the orange, which is fine. And then I gotta go back and reinforce that orange because it looks like it's, it's disappearing on me. Switching it over to the other side of the same brush, going back into Baja, and we're just gonna put that back right here.
like it. I definitely like it. She's giving fall. She's giving Halloween. I definitely like it. Now I just want to go over some of these colors. And this is where the back and forth comes in because I want to make sure it's nice and seamless and blended. But at the same time, I want to make sure that you can see um, the colors. It doesn't matter if it starts to mesh in a little bit, but for the most part, I want you to be able to see that there are actually three different colors on here. So. Think that is good enough I don't want to play anymore I'm going to get rid of this banana powder I didn't really see much fallout to be perfectly honest so that's a good thing but at the same time Now, the next thing that I want to do is clean this up. So we are going to go back into our concealer. I am going to use a little bit of my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I am going to just clean it up, like I said. So I'm going to tap, tap, tap. my beauty sponge to just kind of make a nice clean line Same thing on the other side. And there you go. I just want to reinforce this because I don't want that to be a harsh line where I baked. Okay, so that part is pretty much done, you guys. We are almost done with this, I promise you. All right, now, jumping right into the next thing, which I don't know what it is because I just lost my train of thought. I think I need to go back in and set. I think I did this already, but I wasn't really paying attention. So I do have some really um noticeable lines right here i don't really too much worry about that i know for the most part like if i was on the red carpet and all of that stuff then yeah i just want to go back and set my smile lines i know i look real real crazy and while that's doing that i am going to go in and contour a little bit of my 
nose. Not too much, but just a little bit if I can find a ZBrush. Uh, I think I'll just use this eyeshadow. This is another e.l.f. eyeshadow brush, and it's just another smudger brush. Flat paddle brush, but it's kind of thick and dense, so I'm going to go into that. And I'm going to use my Iconic London. This is a bronzer, and this is in the shade Warm Deep Bronze. And I am going to... <laughs> use that to kind of go down my nose this part is not necessary again a lot of this stuff that people do is more on the professional side and just in case you guys were wondering I am not a professional makeup artist. I am a woman that just loves research and loves a good challenge and thought, why not? Okay. Not too much. Not too much, you guys. It's perfect for me. Perfect. I'm actually surprised because usually I do it and it comes out all crooked. The thing because I'm actually taking my time and trying to impress y'all makes a really big difference. All right, I'm going to sweep this away. I should have did this when I set my face, but I didn't. And like I said, I do have really deep, um, what do you call those? noticeable smile lines right there because I'm always giggling which is a good thing and then I am going to use this brush which I also purchased from Amazon it's just a powder brush the brush cost me like five dollars or whatever this is how she looks I'm going to go back into my iconic London um, bronzer and then I'm going to go over my face a little bit Just to kind of reinforce, because I did lose it, I did go off camera a bit and <laughs> blend the heck out of that contour because she wasn't going nowhere. And that's it. I know the light is making it look weird, but you can really only see it's only concentrated like right here. But you can't really see because of the way the light has me looking right here. Promise you, you guys, once we move and once we grow, that's going to change. All right. Done with that. Um, kind of trying to decide if I want to smoke out my eyes, you guys. I don't know. All right, so I did just go off camera and smoke out my eye a little bit more on the sides. And then I also added my lashes. And I used my Maybelline Sky High Mascara, which is my best. You can find this at any drugstore. I'm going to go into a little bit more of this um, on the lower lash line. I'm not really a mascara type chick, but... All right, for the most part, I think we good. I'm gonna try not to mess with these too much because <laughs> it took me a long time to put them on and I don't want them to come off. Okay, just in case you guys were wondering, these are magnetic lashes, which have become my favorite. I actually don't even think I want to try the regular ones that you have to glue on. I like these, but these are by Kiss, and they do come with their own, um, what do you call that, magnetic eyeliner in there, and they are in the um, Entice, and they're Fox Mink. 
I think is what it says. It says you can read these are reusable, no smudge, is biotin infused in formula, I guess, in the eyeliner or whatever. But so far, I am liking it. I, you guys have seen me in these lashes before. I only wear um, maybe two or three different ones, but pretty much the face is done. Okay, the only thing that we do need to do is set the face, um, which I do want to do that before I do my lips. So I am going to go into my favorite, which is perfect. Um, the All Nighter Ultra Matte by Urban Decay. Okay. And I am going to spray my face. <sighs> All right. And I'm going to go back into that same, which I like this little sponge. This, I got this from Ipsy. It was an add-on. It's by the company um, Araceli. I don't really know too much about them, but I am going to look them up. But I like this little sponge. This is the best sponge that I've used so far. And I actually do have the original Beauty Blender. Just came in the mail, I want to say, this past week. But I have not used it yet. So, um, so far, so good. But I am just pushing in the setting spray for the most part. Um... And yeah, I think she looks really, really, really good. Now for lips, I had intended on being very, 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 um, not bland, but I was trying to do a more, not as bold of a look on the eye. So um, for that reason, I brought down different eye options, but I'm thinking that because we did so much on the eyes that we should keep it very simple on the lips so i do have this new matte lipstick this also by maybelline um it is in the color where is it i don't have my glasses on 599 more mauve okay this is what she looks like all right and pop her off okay so i just want to see I think I would definitely need a liner with that even still, which I do have one of my favorite liners. So this is by Juvia's Place. And this is a just a brown liner. I think this is in the shade Cola. Yeah, so this is a brown liner, which is my favorite. I am going to just line my lips. Okay, just like that, because mama's lips are small, y'all. They plump, they juicy, but they small. So we're going to use that, and I don't know if I, I don't know if this mauve is going to look good with this look. Let's try it. All right, so this is what she looks like. I guess it is like a pinky mauve color. What y'all think? I kind of feel like it's clashing with the eyes only because it's matching. And I don't want to be too matchy. It's not bad, but mm -hmm. let me put a little bit of gloss on there just to see if that makes a difference. But I kind of feel like she's kind of clashing with the eyes. This is the Bare Minerals. This is also another sample that I got. I don't remember from where. I think it was from Ulta Beauty using my points. But this is a Bare Minerals lip gloss. And this is in the shade Sincerity. And this is what she looks like. She's almost identical to the, um, the, the mauve lipstick. Actually, I think the gloss is kind of balancing it out because I don't see that pink as much. What y'all think? I think she looks good. All right, you guys. So here is the finished look. So I did go in and I did a little bit of um, NARS 
blush on my cheekbones but it's kind of uh it looks like a highlighter slash blush at the same time but it served its purpose and then i went back into the urban decay uh, palette and found a nice gold to give me some um inner tear duct highlight so you guys let me know what you are thinking about this look overall i think she looks really really good i think we are definitely giving um the queen is here queen nefertiri is here y'all okay <laughs> the queen has arrived <laughs> yes i am loving it i am loving it like i said i did attempt to do a more calmer look around the eyes but overall i do think that she is absolutely beautiful she is gorgeous everything is nice and seamless and blended i'm actually looking here in my mirror i love the um the uh, eyelashes everything looks good everything looks good okay everything looks good to me but y'all let me know down below in the comment section what you thought about this look as always you guys i'm going to say remember to live love and elevate and i will definitely see you guys in the next beauty video peace beautiful people